So here we've got the Aeronautica Imperialis Night Shroud Squadron from Forge World. So this is another £30 kit. Uh, it's quite a bit thicker than the Doom Doomside Squadron. So I'm going to open it up and show you all the pieces. So this is the pieces. So as you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five resin sprues per model. You've got the inner and outer wing. You've got the body. You've got the underslung guns. Which let's just check. Yeah, go here and here. Uh, let's check if there's anything else on the bottom of the wings. Nope. So yes, and you can see the bombs here, where the guns go, and then you've got this little bit on the bottom goes in the middle hole as well. And then that goes on the front there. And this little sticky outy bit goes in here. So again, you've got some shims present in the guns. So these are small, thin areas of resin you've got to cut out. You're going to have to very carefully get rid of these bits around the pegs on the inner wings. Uh, and then it's the usual large resin connectors here. So you're going to want to carefully remove them to avoid damage in the model. So looking at it, not a complicated kit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces per model. You also get unit card, and you get instructions and a bit of background, including an overhead picture of how it's meant to look. So because this is a Forge World model. It's going to go in some warm soapy water for a bit and then be scrubbed because touching it I can feel mould release on there so that definitely needs a scrub before it gets painted. So once that's had a bath and it's dried off uh, I'll be back to assemble the model. We've got the Necron Night Shroud Bomber. So I built one to make sure I know how to do it and this is what they look like. So I'm going to put this together, starting with the body. I'm going to put a couple of pieces on because it'll be harder to do it after the wings are attached. So I'm going to start with this little front piece. I'm just going to pop a bit more resin off. So, first piece, and then we've got this piece that goes underneath, quick dry fit, that's fine, pop that on, because it'll be a bit more of a pain do it when we've got the wings on. So the wings we need to dry fit. So that goes in with no issues. That hole needs to be a little bit deeper. And this hole again maybe needs to be a little bit deeper but you can see A little bit of resin around the peg. So having removed that, let's try that again. Now the hole needs to be a little bit deeper. So this is where, let's see if I can find a drill bit. Is this too small? No. So take a bit out. I'm not even using a drill on this because it would go so fast it would melt the resin. And you can tweak. 
twist and make the hole a bit deeper. And that is now a little bit deeper. So the middle hole needs to be a little bit deeper. Again, twisting this drill bit. those together and see how they fit and they do which means it is time for a bit of glue drop in each hole and then you gotta hold those together so I'm going to come back with both of these done, with the wings assembled. I'm going to put the guns on now and the little tail. So I've dry fitted the little tail. A little drop of glue goes in there. Make sure the flat bit goes on the bottom. There you go. For the guns. I'm going to use a little bit of liquid green stuff. There we go, the guns are on. So this is now a complete sub-assembly. Now we want to take the wings and dry fit them. And I think this means that... Oh, what's going on on that side? We got a bit of resin in there. Which probably means there's a problem with the mould now. And a little bit of it's come off in somebody's model. And now they've all got this issue. So and then you dig it out with a knife. It's not difficult, it's just annoying. Then bang. So that is what it'll look like put together. So we get the trusty knife again. And we pop a bit of liquid green stuff on each side. What we want to do is have it so that it gets squished flat. We don't get a join between the two resin pieces. Drop of glue goes in there. And then boom. A slightly damp cotton bud. Boop. To get rid of any stuff poking out. Hold that for a minute.
there we go. Fully built model. So let's compare it in size. Space Marine Plane, Necron Fighter. I would much rather that these were £20 for two and these were 30 for two because as you can see there's a significant difference in size. So the fighter is about the same size as that, that's about the same size as that. And one of these is 26 for two pound and one of these is 26 for six of them so in terms of model quality they're very nice uh, they are quite pricey in terms of points and cash you will probably only ever need to buy a single blister of them so I got two blisters of fighters and one blister of bombers which is more than 200 points of necrons and enough for campaign and scenario play so it means that I can play Necrons and I've got all the options um, there are two variants of this, the Night Shroud and the Death Shroud sorry the Doom Scythe and the Night Scythe the only difference is the Underslung Gun the Underslung Gun is probably not worth magnetising I am going to paint each of the four fighters slightly differently so that you can tell, um, so that I can write down which ones have got the undergun and which ones don't. These don't have those option issues, so you build them as is, and there you go. So, those are very nice. Pricey, but very nice. And that is how you build the Night Shroud Bomber. If you've liked this video, hit like and subscribe. If you want to chat, leave a comment below, but otherwise, good gaming.